Hello everyone, JDev Creator of the JDev Entertainment Network has returned. Once again, to give you precisely what you want, which of course would be more of me because I'm in such high demand, and quite frankly, I'm all that you're going to need, especially with what's happening with the coronavirus stuff in our world right now. I'm giving you the Alzan guys another Ozark Season 3 episode recap video, but before I do that, it's very important if you're not caught up with where I am recapping Ozark. So please make sure you pay attention to that episode title that I always put in the description. If that's the case, I strongly recommend that you don't watch this video to avoid any potential forthcoming spoilers. And for the rest of you, there's a few things I need you to do. It's not going to take very long at all, and I know a lot of us don't have much to do right now. I need you to go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you share this video. Go ahead and leave me a comment with your thoughts, your overall score, and anything Ozark related in the comments section. And last but not least, make sure you hit that sub button and subscribe to this channel. Join the team. It's greatly appreciated. And I want everybody to remain safe. Just do some things for me to help me out. And I want you all, though, to remain safe. And uh, hopefully we can get things back to normal sometime soon. So, Ozark Season 3, Episode Number 3. The title of this episode was Kevin Cronin Was Here. And this was an interesting episode. We start off with Wendy having a weird dream. First, she's playing with a dog. And then she's putting that dog on the side of the road dead. And then instead of Cade pulling up, it's like the same scene where Cade dies. It's Marty pulling up. And Wendy pulls a gun out on Marty and shoots Marty. Marty. So she has a dream killing Marty. The Canarlsons refuse to sell their hotel. Marty and Ruth plan to launder at the big muddy casino. And because Wendy has closed it for renovations, Frank Sr. lets Wendy know Marty arranged for the fire. Um, and of course, he's like, wow, you didn't have anything. To, you didn't know anything about this. And she's like, no, I did not. From now on, everything goes through me. Helen tells Marty Navarro does not want the big money used for laundering. Uh, Wendy tells Carl he should obtain Anita's agreement by any means necessary. Helen asks Ruth if she could run the Missouri Bell without Marty. She says yes, then reports the conversation to Marty. Carl and Anita argue, and then he kind of like waves her off, like she's standing behind her, just kind of puts his arm out. Well, that causes her to actually fall, uh, and actually that accidentally falls to her death because she goes down a hill. That was pretty crazy. Uh, Marty works out a laundering arrangement with Ario Speedwagon when he when they play at the casino. Uh, Wendy provokes Darlene into striking her, giving Wendy cause to have Zeke taken away. Uh, Agent Miller offers Marty a deal that enables him to work for the FBI. After 18 months in prison, Trevor, uh, Trevor Evans, the agent, identifies one of Frank Jr.'s men, or Frank Sr.'s men, sorry, uh, from the casino fire and obtains his cooperation. Marty uses spyware when Wendy calls Navarro to report closing on the hotel, and Navarro tells her that their communication is compromised. So that's pretty crazy that he knows that somebody's listening in. Um, and then while Ario Speedwagon is performing, uh, Marty tells uh, Agent Miller he accepts the deal. Now, I assume he's going to go back on it somehow, some way. And then the episode ends with three cartel operatives seize Marty and drag him into a, an SUV. And then Ruth and Ben go after them eventually. And then they stop and one of the guys comes out with a gun and points it at him. And then he goes back in the vehicle, and then they go speeding away, and that's the end of the episode. So they uh, thwarted off Ruth and Ben's attempt at pursuit. Pretty crazy episode. I liked it. I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. I thought it was lots of stuff moved in this episode, and I, I enjoyed that. I'm actually really starting to like Ben's character. And another scene in the episode was Charlotte and uh, Aaron, uh, Helen's daughter, go aboard a boat and leave Jonah on the boat to watch over their stuff. So we'll see what happens with that. But again, an 8.6 out of 10. I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm thinking things are really going to start picking up with each episode. And then we'll have like a point where it goes down a little bit. And then things will get crazy. I think. I could be wrong though. But I enjoyed it. So make sure you leave your thoughts, your opinions about the episode. Um, any overall score that you'd like to give. Anything Ozark related up to this point. Don't go any further. And of course, J-Dev will be back again soon with another. Peace.